chirp is one of the first modifications of scratch it is based on scratch 1.2.1 and it's made by Jens a former scratch team member but this time we are going to be reviewing the changes directly rather than being from top to bottom if you need more details you can just watch my scratch 1.2 video and first first things of course the logs so let's place the block okay this logo i think so first thing and then let's just block place our block over here and check this feature out oh you can see that we can export things as you can see we exported a file over here which is known as scratch script.xml it's a xml file you can export the blocks as xml which is amazing this gens will eventually use for the biob and the mod which will change to snap and let this open that's not how you open it you can just right click in the scripting area and just click import a script in case you want a script you can see the block only is coming not a whole sprite is coming like how we export a sprite this is exporting the blocks and that's very interesting you know and so another thing is that you can change blocks using right clicking into another blocks you can see it's changing its changing the block shape to different ones as you can see it has changed usually it's also common for operators i like to use it for operators only mostly also there's some scroll bar re re removal or something i don't know about it that much but it's made a little more efficient or something like in case you just made the window smaller and if you want to make it more smaller it will get glitched out it would work perfectly the same resolution but you will get a scroll bar like that it's quite good but the normal scratch like 1.4 and all doesn't suit to these things even the 3.0 is not like this which is a shame but still quite good so the next thing is that you can make screen shavers using the chirp which will run random it's like a random scratch projects that you made i think it should be inside this folder and you can just go to your windows directory and make it because i never tried it once also because i don't need to so also we can change the script areas size i think so let me just take this block off just forgot how to change the script area just make it slightly bigger I don't know why it's not working now last time when I tried it it just worked this time it's not working I think so it's over here last time I was just able to just move this thing right and left to make the script area smaller and bigger but I don't know what happened now anyway it's quite fine and I think you can also watch my scratch 1.2 video if you need more details and also first you should install scratch 1.2 before installing chirp that's how it works in the same directory because it's like a more like a change log to the scratch 1.2 itself if you just paste this to any other thing it will get it will just get glitched out because I tried it already with 1.4 and yeah that's all about my video and I hope to see you guys in the next video